welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I turned my entry closet into this. Entryway closet is pretty standard with just a rod across the top and a couple shelves so that you can hang your coats. But my kids are little and so they tend to throw all their coats and their shoes and everything, their backpacks, all on the bottom. So I decided I needed to change it up and I started by emptying out the closet, giving it a good clean. And you can see I don't have a lot of room to work with, but I think we can maximize the space by just adding some hooks where my kids can reach. I began by measuring the two sides of the closet and the back and then I had a scrap piece of 1x8 select pine board that I decided to cut down into three equal pieces which ended up being about two and a quarter inches wide. If you don't have a piece to cut down or a table saw you can buy your pre-milled lumber. Probably a 1x3 would work really good from Home Depot or your local box store. And then I took those pieces over to my chop saw and I cut the two side pieces together which ended up being about 23 inches long. Then the back piece and gave everything a good sand so that none of my kids would get any splinters. And using my laser level I created a line where I wanted it to be and sometimes you just got to get creative. And I took my side pieces first and began pre-drilling my holes through the wood into the drywall and I ended up on all the way around my closet maybe hitting about four studs and then I had other spots that didn't quite hit a stud so I used drywall anchors for those which I highly recommend if you're going to be hanging anything heavy off of your hooks. I do wish I would have picked up my camera a little bit so you could see this a little bit better so I apologize for that but I did just line up the top of my boards to the bottom of the laser lines so that I knew that I was level. After that I went on to measure about 7 inches from each side of the wood so that I knew where to place my hooks and I put two on each side piece and then on the back piece I put three hooks total. I got these hooks off of Amazon and I will put a link below if you're interested in that. Then I decided to cut out a whole bunch of triangles with my Cricut off of some vinyl. This is a perfect solution to decorate your closet or a wall or space, especially if you are renting and you can't do any painting because they remove easily if you want them to. Again, I use my laser level to line up my triangles. If you don't have one, you can always use a tape measure and mark your own line with a pencil. I decided to go with the vinyl because I didn't want something permanent and I wanted to test out the pattern to make sure that I liked it. And then as it starts to wear and tear and starts to peel off, I will go ahead and grab a stencil, be it a piece of wood or a cardstock cutout triangle and paint it on so that it's more permanent. However, since I already started this process and have the vinyl on, I decided that I would try and get it, keep it as long as I can. So I took some Mod Podge and I just did a couple coats over the triangles to give it that little extra protection and it'll still be easy to peel off if it comes to that. This was a really simple yet effective use of vinyl to just create a little bit of a pop in a small space and create some function. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy how this project turned out. It's way more functional and I just really love the design and I hope that you are inspired to take a small space of your own and create something fun out of it. For those who are interested, I did not build anything for shoes because to the right of my closet I have a black cabinet that I have four spaces for each of my kids and they put their shoes in that cubby which ends up being perfect for me so that they're not all piled up in the bottom of my closet. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.